I just got some new antennas in and I couldn't resist taking them apart because they're quite unique. These are True RC 1.2 GHz receiver transmitter antennas. So let's go ahead on the bench and take a look at these and I want to talk about the five or six things that I really like about these antennas. So this is the Singularity antenna from True RC and this is a right hand circular polarized set and it's for 1280 and 1258 megahertz. And I'm Dave from ERC, by the way. So let's go ahead and look at the construction inside. So you can see there's a circuit board in here with a four-spoked etch pattern that terminates at the edges. And if I look through the back, shine some light through the back, you can see there's another pattern on the back side of the board going the opposite direction. The two patterns from the top and bottom join at the edges where they're soldered onto another circuit board that goes around the outer edge. And it has spiral pieces, four spiral pieces that come off these nodes. So this outer rim of the can is actually a circuit board just folded around and you can see where it laps over itself right here. The radiation pattern from these antennas makes them good for flying along the ground, whereas the old antennas are better if you're at a higher altitude. The center wire from the SMA cable that feeds the antenna solders right in the middle, right here. The shield of the SMA cable connects to the center of the pattern on the bottom of the circuit board. So the center conductor goes to the top and the shield goes to the bottom. So the construction of the antennas leads to the first thing I like about them, and that's the small size. Now I admit there's not much advantage in size when looking at your standard dipole, which is very small to begin with, and that would be on the transmitter side, and then on the receiving side you could always use one like this, which again isn't much bigger. But if you look at what you could use if you're using circular polarized. These are circular polarized, so if you're going to go circular polarized, other solutions would be this on the transmitter side, which is huge in comparison, and this on the receiving side, which is also quite large. Now the compact size leads me to my next point, which is they're less likely to get damaged either on the aircraft or if they're on your goggles where they might get bumped into. I'm always having to straighten the wires out on my blue beam set because they not only get damaged while I'm using them but also when I'm transporting them they can get bent. I even find that this dipole sometimes gets stuck on things in the car because it sticks below the wing. Also an additional point might be that these only weigh 17 grams so they are very light. Now my third point is pretty obvious. If you fly with goggles and you have trouble fitting one of these great big blue beam things or other circular polarized antennas on your goggles and you don't want to look like a total dork, then this is a far better solution. Not only does it work better, but hey, the color even matches pretty well. And they're easy to remove and put back into your box to store or even in your bag and they won't get crushed like these things. Of course you could go with this and this, but then you wouldn't have what I'm going to talk about in my next point. So my next point is that they are circular polarized. And this means that they help prevent reflections, especially when you're flying in close proximity to yourself and there might be things around like cars or buildings and the reflections are just coming back at you. This will prevent that. Also, if you want to fly with a buddy, the circular polarization makes it possible because one of you can be on 1280, the other on 1258, and then one have the left-hand circular polarized set, and then one have this set, which is right-handed. And my fifth point is they can definitely have reduced drag as compared to something like this, but maybe not as much as the dipole antenna like this. However, if you don't like things sticking up out of your wing and you want circular polarized, then this might be the solution. Because of this side feed where it comes in through the bottom, you can actually cut a hole and just insert it up into the wing. One caveat is that you don't want to get near any carbon fiber spars or metal spars 
so you want to stay away from them at least an inch or two. And just as a final point, or extra point, they are rated as a 0.2 dBi higher gain than most Omni antennas, and many people are reporting long-range flights of several miles or more. Well, that's all I got for now. Leave any comments you want underneath the video, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and hit that notify checkbox. Thanks for watching.